Hello and welcome to B2B Cambodia's tax update, the show where we break down Cambodia's tax laws and regulations with key experts in the field. In this episode, we'll be discussing public lighting tax with Nitika Nit, associate at Tiliki and Gibbons. Hi, thank you so much for speaking with us today. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you. And I believe there have been some recent updates in public lighting tax. So could you share some of those updates with us and let us know what has changed? Regarding the public lighting tax, um, the latest update was the increase of the tax rate from 3% to 5% and it has been inc increased by the implementation of the sub-degree 286 dated um, 20, September 2023 and it was initially uh, supposed to implement uh, from January 1st 2024. However, after the meeting with the private sector, the Ministry of Economy and Finance has issued a new broadcast, which is, re uh, is recently uh, issued um, since 20 March 2024. Uh, and that new broadcast has delayed the implementation of the public lighting tax uh, from the initial uh, January 1st, 2024 to uh, to be in full effect on April 1st, 2024. And the new rate uh, is still the same, uh, meaning that 5%. So I would like to highlight again that the public lighting tax uh, will be in effect from April 1st, 2024. And the company, a related company, a taxable person, have to pay the tax with the new rate of 5%. And could you also clarify who the public lighting tax applies to? The public lighting tax imposed or applies to all the importer or producer of all alcoholic beverages and cigarettes in Cambodia. Mm -hmm. And uh, we call it taxpayer. And those taxpayers have to be a taxpayer under the safe declaration or we can say safe assessment regime. First of all, we refer to the importer. So importer is can be the uh, taxpayer entity itself who import the product in Cambodia or they can provide or grant the authorization or the rights to another entity to import the taxable product in Cambodia on their behalf. Mm -hmm. And another one is producer. So the, uh, it can be all the producer who are the owner producing the product in Cambodia by themselves or they can hire other entity or company to produce the product for them. Uh, if you have a company A who produce the beer mm -hmm. for themselves and then they supply the beer, the beers that uh, they have produced. So we call them taxable person. But if that taxable person, the company A who produce the beer but they hire a company B who producing different kind of uh, alcoholic beverage, let's mm. say um, whiskey. Mm. So that whiskey company will be deemed as authorized person because they produce their whiskey for the company mm -hmm. A. This broadcast clarify on uh, the tax board person and the authorized person who um, who receive the right to produce or import the product for the tax board person have to fulfill some obligation with the GDT. Mm -hmm meaning that this authorized person, they have to file and submit the relevant document to the GDT informing the GDT uh, before they produce or import any taxable products in Cambodia. And in even that the GDT find the taxable person in question who are doing business with the authorized person did not fulfill their their tax obligation, mm -hmm. the GDT will notify the authorized person to stop producing or importing any products for the taxable person. So mm -hmm. this is very important to highlight under the uh, this new broadcast in terms of the tax collection management. And when does public lighting tax have to be paid? So the tax of public lighting is due and paid only once at a time of the supply of the first taxable product after production or import uh, into Cambodia. Mm -hmm. And also this is to note that the taxable person has to pay the public lighting tax no later than 20th uh, day of the month 
uh, following the month in which the product is produced or imported. Well, thank you so much for that clarification. I think it will be very helpful for all of our viewers. You're welcome. My pleasure. Thank you. This was B2B Cambodia's tax update. Thanks for watching. Come back for more episodes where we break down Cambodia's tax laws and regulations. Thank you.